What's up, my construction entrepreneurs? Tyrone Jones here. Hey, I wanted to test bases on here uh, this morning, Sunday morning, and talk to you guys about um, we have a new subcontractor agreement on the website for sale. Now, why do you need a subcontractor agreement? So this is for my contractors that's finding themselves getting out of um, you know, more so that uh, service type home owner type business uh, and getting into more, um, you know, heavier contracts, uh, maybe even a little bit of light commercial up to medium and heavy commercial work and even public works. This subcontractor agreement, it basically locks your subcontractors in, uh, whether if you're a general, okay, whether if you're operating as a general, or whether if you're operating as a subcontractor, okay? It's for uh, uh, the agreement between who, whomever you're hiring, whatever, whatever it, doesn't, it doesn't matter the role that you're in, okay? And it ties you, it ties your subcontractors and you into the same agreement, and it ties your subcontractors and you into the same agreement that you may have with the owner if you're coming from a prime contractor standpoint. Now, let me break that down a little bit, okay? In the world of contracting, if you are a subcontractor, most likely you are tied to the contract that your general contractor is tied to with the owner or whomever they're doing the work for, okay? So when someone, so as a general contractor, is if a general contractor hires you and they give you this subcontractor agreement, most likely the wording of that subcontractor agreement tells you that you're tied to their agreement that they have with the owner. Okay, that's standard practice right there. Standard practice. Why is that standard practice? Because that puts everybody under the same envelope. Okay, and you want to do the same when you're hiring your subcontractors. Now, mind you, you that means you need to be out of the realm of of actually hiring. You're getting hired on. You got a nice job, right? And then you hire on a subcontractor, which is a third tier contractor, requires you to pay them before you have gotten paid. So you need to be out of that cycle. You need to stop paying for work that's done if you have not been paid for that work. It's very important. You need to stop paying for work that is done by your subs when you have not been paid. It's very important right there, okay? So, this contract will basically uh, uh, um, tell your subs that they need to wait until you are paid for the work that they were done to get paid, okay? So that means that whatever time frame the general contractor is waiting to get paid, it's the time frame that you have to abide by. It's the time frame that your subs have to also follow as well. Standard, standard terminology within this business. But you need to find yourself getting to that next level so you can bring on those subcontractors. Because there is a point in contracting to where you even want to get paid when you're done with your work, okay? Right when you're done with your work. What if you're, it doesn't matter what agreement the person hiring you is, is bound by, uh, you just want to get paid for the work that you're doing. Well, uh, there's going to be a time if you want to grow, okay, and do more work uh, in different sectors or get up to a higher level than, than where you're at, you may fall under that 30 day to 45 day payout, okay? Now, it's, a, it's very painful for a lot of us uh, initially, especially if we're getting, you know, 30 day, 30 day net jobs here, nine 30 day net jobs here, and we have gotten, kind of gotten accustomed to getting paid when we're done with work. You know, everything is flowing on, you know, paying individuals, paying uh, material suppliers and all that based on getting paid right when the work is done. So it would be a rude awakening if you're not ready for this. So you have to make sure that you're ready. But for my contractors that's ready, the agreement is here. Um, 
And then uh, um, once you have that agreement, you can um, tailor that agreement to your company, put your your um, your letterhead on it, your, 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 your company logo or your company name, whatever you have, and you can um, look at it and see what works, take out what doesn't work for you, and leave in what works for you. And that way you have a subcontractor agreement that lets your subs know that we are bound by whatever contract agreement that I am in with the owner and whatever contract agreement that the general is in with the owner that I'm working for. So grab this. It is for sale. It's not for free. So grab it. Check it out. Use it. Let's get to the next level together. My construction entrepreneurs, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Catch you on the next one.